So we know that uh, root locus is the sketch of closed loop poles as we change uh, the gain in the system. And we also remember that transient specifications as well as stability is mainly determined by the location of closed loop poles. Therefore, to achieve uh, transient response specifications, we can uh, manipulate the root locus to uh, achieve the required specifications. In today's lecture, we shall talk about a simple example to demonstrate that particular concept. So we have uh, this uh, system given by uh, this diagram. So we have this uh, system with negative feedback and K is a tunable parameter. We want to determine that gain such that the closed loop system exhibits an overshoot of 4.33%. For that purpose, we shall uh, sketch the root locus and uh, uh, if uh, in the exam, of course, you will not have access to software tools. Therefore, you have to draw the root locus according to the scale. So let's uh, draw it. So I am trying to draw it uh, correctly. You will have some geometrical tools and then you can draw it uh, more accurately. There is one pole at origin and another pole at S equal to minus uh, uh, one and there is a zero at s equal to one minus 1.5 third pole is at s equal to minus 10 over here uh, so we apply uh, the strategy uh, the relaxes rule states that this is part of root locus and this is also part of root locus and uh, then uh, there will be uh, three asymptotic lines uh, since uh, sorry there will be two asymptotic lines uh, center of those asymptotic lines uh, sigma a is equal to sum of uh, poles uh, so there is uh, there is one pole at zero another pole at minus one third pole as minus ten and there is a zero at uh, minus one point five and divided by uh, number of uh, finite poles 3 minus 1 which is 2 so this comes out to be equal to uh, minus 11 plus 1.5 so 9.5 divided by 2 is for 9.5 divided by 2 is 2 fourths are 8 and 2 sevenths uh, are 14 2 fives are 10 4.75 minus 4. 7, 5. Center of asymptotic line here is uh, uh, minus minus 1, uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 4.75 is somewhere over here. And angle of those asymptotic lines uh, is uh, there is uh, the angles are uh, plus 60 uh, there are two asymptotic lines so plus minus 90 degrees. So here uh, are the asymptotic lines. Root locus which starts from these uh, poles will uh, approach zeros at infinity and it will follow these asymptotic lines. Uh, we also need to determine the break away and break in points. For that purpose uh, we have uh, k uh, of s which is equal to 1 over g of s uh, in this case minus 1 over g of s in this case h of s is unity so that is equal to uh, s s plus 1 s k of sigma we have uh, s square uh, s cube so sigma cube uh, 10 s plus 11 uh, 1 s 11 s plus 11 sigma square uh, and then 10 s dk by d sigma that is equal to uh, 1.5 1 square so sigma plus 1.5 negative sign was here so here is negative sign negative sign and then uh, 3 sigma plus 22 uh, 3 sigma square plus 22 sigma plus 10 and 
minus n minus plus uh, we have uh, sigma cube plus 11 sigma square plus 10 sigma multiplied by 1 uh, therefore uh, here we have uh, and that is equal to 0 uh, that has to be equal to 0 to determine this gain corresponding to those points uh, now uh, this uh, uh, can be multiplied to the right hand side so this numerator has to be equal to 0 so uh, we have uh, so we have this expression this is a third order polynomial we can use our calculator to find the roots of this third order polynomial and these roots uh, are let me compute it with the calculator so that is uh, sigma equal to uh, minus 4.36 so we find the roots of this third polynomial there are three roots which lie at these locations among these points we can determine the break away and break in points so uh, this is by observation uh, the break away point between uh, minus 1 and 0 root locus will break away from here and then uh, it will this is the break in point minus 2.77 here is uh, uh, minus 2 so minus 2.77 so break in point so root locus which started from these poles uh, here and then there is another break away point uh, which is at minus 4.36 so minus 3 minus 4 4.36 is over here so root locus will uh, so here is uh, a sketch of root locus uh, in uh, in the paper you can draw it relative uh, more accurately when you have geometrical tools with, with you now we have root locus and we want to design a controller such that overshoot is equal to uh, 4.33 percent for that purpose we know uh, this overshoot uh, corresponds to zeta if we are provided with overshoot then we can use uh, this expression uh, overshoot percent overshoot over 100 uh, over pi square plus log of percent overshoot over 100 percent over 100 whole square root and also square of uh, this thing so by this uh, relation this uh, zeta comes out to be equal to 0.707 that is uh, we know that uh, theta is equal to cosine of uh, cosine of theta is equal to zeta therefore theta is equal to cosine inverse of zeta which comes out to be equal to 45 degrees so to have an overshoot of 4.33 percent closed loop poles must lie on a line which is described by an angle theta of 45 degrees so let's draw a line with an angle of 45 degrees so approximately uh, this is approximately line with an angle of 40 degrees therefore to achieve those desired specification closed loop poles must lie at this location if we read it from the graph then these closed loop poles are roughly at uh, uh, this line is uh, here is uh, uh, what was that point uh, oh, center of asymptote uh, we had determined it uh, that was equal to uh, just read it from the graph minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so minus 5 minus 5 plus j so here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.75 uh, 4 roughly. 
so the closed loop pole must lie at this location uh, if we want to achieve uh, this uh, thing so corresponding to these closed loop poles we can find the gain by the magnitude condition so this is the magnitude condition kg of s absolute value at s equal to this point that must be equal to 1 if this point is to be the closed loop pole so let's determine gain from uh, this uh, requirement so this is equal to uh, actually this was also minus 4.75 because this angle is 45 degrees so whatever is over here the same is over here and that point was also this uh, center of asymptotic line was minus 4.75 so that is minus 4.75 uh, in graphical technique there is always slight error and uh, then you have to accommodate uh, that error so corresponding to this gain uh, k is equal to 1 over g of s magnitude with s equal to s1 so that is equal to s s plus 1 uh, g of s inverted s plus 10 over s plus 1.5 this magnitude at s equal to s1 where s1 is given by this relation and this is equal to if we substitute this s1 minus 4.75 plus j 4.75 uh, absolute value of this thing first s and then absolute value of s substituted over here uh, and plus 1 so that will come out to be minus 3.75 plus j 4.75 this absolute value then substitute it over here so 10 minus uh, uh, 4 that is uh, 4 5.25 5.25 uh, plus j 4.75 whole divided by uh, s uh, 1.5 if i sub uh, take a difference uh, so 0.25 uh, 0.25 Two five and four minus three uh, plus j four point seven five. So these are complex numbers. You can determine their absolute values, and then that will give you a value of k. Uh, there is also a graphical approach. What is this thing? This complex number. This is the length. Uh, uh, the magnitude of this complex number is square of this one plus square of this one whole square root that is square of this distance plus square of this, this distance whole square root which is this length so uh, another convenient way to determine it is we can also determine the length over here from the graph so that is uh, uh, equal to uh, I have uh, drawn it to the scale uh, so that comes out to be equal to uh, roughly 6.5 so this magnitude this magnitude is 6.5 and this length is length of vector from the second pole to this uh, point desired point so that length is approximately 5.5 and this is the length from this pole to this desired point that is uh, roughly 6.5 that is uh, let me recheck it uh, 6.5 yes and this length is length of a vector from this zero to that point uh, that is approximately 5.2 so determine that again 
uh, this is less accurate more accurate is to determine their uh, magnitudes by square of the real part plus square of the imaginary part whole square root so this gains come out comes out to be approximately equal to 44 this is very approximate because there are errors in the sketching of this graph and the lengths are determined uh, by the scale otherwise you can uh, get more accurate numerical value so this gain uh, corresponds to these closed loop poles and if uh, this gain is set equal to 44 then we shall have an overshoot of approximately 4.33 percent remember that this design is uh, not very accurate because of multiple reasons First reason, this graph sketch is hand sketch and the second reason is this formula was derived for a second order system. Here we have a third order system and uh, there are three closed loop poles. One is over here, second is complex conjugate of this one and the third one will be somewhere, uh, somewhere here and uh, this third pole if it is less dominant then this formula will be more applicable if it is more dominant then this formula will be less applicable so these are some uh, approximations involved over there we can see that there is a zero very close to this pole so if there is a zero very close to a pole that makes that particular pole uh, less dominant so this will be this approximation will be fairly applicable so let's verify our design with the help of MATLAB.